Hey everyone, happy Sunday. Thank you for joining me for part two of Upcycling Old Greeting Cards. Today we are going to do a bookmark. So it just depends on the card you have because you know book, bookmark is primarily flat and you don't want to overdo elements and make it bulky. So I would suggest that um, you be very careful when you're doing your bookmark. So before we continue, I'd like to say hi to my subscribers. I hope you guys had a wonderful week. And thank you to those of you who have dropped by to watch my videos. I truly appreciate that. So let's go ahead and dive in. So I did have this card here. This was a get well card that was um, uh, given or sent to me, if, that, if you want to say that. And on the front, it was very simple, but it had this this nice bouquet looking thing that I, I, I like and I had it in there so when I went for my stash I found it and I thought okay let me go ahead and use that now I could have just it, it's very light so I mean it's it's you know definitely good that it's light um, considering the bookmark then I did cut it out as you can see and I got a piece of um, purple a lighter purple cardstock like you know to put on the back of it so what I will do here I will be doing using a stencil just to put a little bit of um, extra something in the background and then I will um, I used uh, you know just my glue bottle just to kind of give it a little curved uh, finish and I will be doing the punch here so we can see the results so let me go ahead for now and I'm going to adhere this to the back of this thingy dingy stencil. That's what it is. And I will go ahead and get started. Now you don't have to do stenciling. You could do, um, I guess, pattern paper if you have, you know, just, just be creative. So just so that this thing doesn't move, I'm just tacking it lightly with some washi tape. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I'm not going to use purple. I am thinking maybe I want to use something lighter. So let's use a little green. I will not put all over it. Um, I'll put in the areas that I really want a little something, you know, pick up wing in there, you know. So in that way, we just have a little something, something. So you can see I have this on here. With that bottle, I did that curve. Let's go ahead and get this um, cut out. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and place this as central as possible. Just make sure you have enough glue to get it stuck. Now, if you want to be extra, you can also laminate this if you have a laminating machine just for overall um, durability. Okay, so I have gotten this on here. I also wanted to keep the get well, which is that, you know, get well thingy dingy. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And then I will put a punch a hole. I'll try and go as central as possible. So you want to give a little, you know, extra up here. And then, well, of course, there you have it. Just a simple bookmark that you can continue to use and you still have your the sentiment or the the beautiful um whatever it is that's on a card and you want to keep that then you can turn it into a bookmark again you can laminate this if you wish so thank you guys for watching and i shall see you guys next week for part three